We're celebrating our 100th episode. Woohoo! Join with us as we talk about our favorite things. Welcome to Vacation Mavens, a family travel podcast with ideas for your next vacation and tips to get you out the door. Here are your hosts, Kim from Stuffed Suitcase and Tamara from We Three Travel. So Tamara, we are going to jump in on this 100th episode. Congrats, by the way. Yeah, congratulations. We made it. Woohoo! That's way longer than the seven episodes that most people make it. So yeah, I think we've we've surpassed that quite a bit. Hopefully, you know, everyone's loving it. But I'm excited about this episode. Actually, we are going to run through a list. We both have worked hard at creating 50 things travel gear or, you know, experiences or places. And um, we're going to walk through them and tell everybody some of our favorite things. And I have to say mine are totally just off the top of my head, random, no particular order, kind of grouped by type of gear or things like that, but just really, really random. And as I quickly look at yours, I'm like, oh, I should have said that. I should have said that. So (laughs) that's why we have the two of us so that we can share our, our two, you know, share our two points of view. Yeah. And I think it's good because I, you actually had done your list before. And then when I was making mine, sometimes I thought, oh, I would list that too. But I tried to list a few different things so that there's not, I don't think there's too many du- duplicates. Cool. So how are we going to do this? We're going to do like five at a time back and forth? Yeah, five at a time. And I think you should start us off. All right. We'll try to go quick, quick, quick. So uh, I started with gear and my favorite travel pants are my anatomy pants. I love the Kate pants, but I think I also have a Louisa and they're lightweight and they roll up. They don't take up any room and they dry really fast and they're wrinkle free and they're fashionable and all those other things. So love my anatomy travel pants. Um, I also put in my Columbia hiking pants because those are also very comfortable. One thing I will note about Columbia is that I tend to wear a bigger size in Columbia than in other brands, which I don't enjoy, but Mm -hmm. I do enjoy their pockets and the lightweight and the comfort of my Columbia hiking pants. I tend to have a lot of Columbia gear. But my other favorite pants that I actually get a ton of compliments, even from a guy that I was sitting next to the plane, next to on the plane last week, was commenting about my pants, how he loved them. But I have these North Face, they're called Aphrodite pants, and they're just really loose and slouchy. They have pockets, um, they're elastic waist, and you know they look they look cute, but they're really really comfortable. I feel like I'm wearing PJs, and I guess they kind of have like a Lululemon kind of look, but they're North Face and they're not nearly as expensive. And then my other item, which you've even commented on, is my Scotty Vest Madeline cardigan, which is just a a big black cardigan with, and it's a thin t-shirt material, so you can use it any season. And it has really deep pockets. And I bought the Madeline, which is a little bit lower, and it covers my butt. So from wearing leggings to, you know, sleep on the plane or whatever. And I love the pockets because I can put in my phone and a water bottle and my passport and all the stuff that I need easy access to right on the plane. So my Scotty Vest Madeline cardigan and then my new splurge purchase, which is my teak flats. And I just love them. Actually, I went to get my hair cut recently and two people commented on my teak flats. You know, they have such cute colors, but what I love is that they fold up and so they are so easy to pack and they're really expensive, but I travel a lot and I want comfortable shoes and we walked all over Lisbon and I was comfortable in them. So love my teak flats. That's five. Love that list. That was awesome. I'm not as organized as you. I kind of went more off the top of my head, but I will jump right in. I started with my charge charging devices, and I have met with them a couple times at CES, and they've provided devices. So just a little disclosure there. Um, I guess in advance, some stuff on this list we have been gifted, you know, to test. So just disclosure on that. But um, everything on this list is stuff that we actually use and love. So, but my charge charging devices, I love them. And some of my favorite are their hubs because it actually has the cords built into the block unit. So I don't have to carry around a cord. And when you're in theme parks or traveling or out and about, I just love having one thing that I grab out of the hotel. And then normally they have um, like a plug on the back that you pop into the wall. So it makes it really quick to recharge. My next up is my Sony mirrorless camera. And this was a big splurge. So if you are a photographer and you're looking to get greater, you know, greater. If you're looking to get better photos when you're out on your trips, I would I would highly recommend this. I have the A7R2, which is a um, 
you know, more advanced camera, but I love them because they're a little more portable than a DSLR. Sony mirrorless camera. Next up for me are wet wipes. With a kid with allergies, I started carrying these because we wiped down all of her tray tables and seats and kind of chairs when we used to when she was younger and we would eat in restaurants. But now it's become a go to thing for me as well because when I'm flying, airplanes are really nasty. I don't know if you guys have ever seen some of those stories about the tray tables and the window shades and what they find on those. So anyways, wet wipes, antibacterial wipes are huge. Also, next up, I have Ziploc bags. And this is something I just normally carry a couple in my suitcase like in my divider. And the reason I have that is some, you never know when it works. You know, if I'm at conferences, they're great for business cards. They also work great for just little things that you might have or need to put together or, you know, just different parts. So Ziploc bags are always something I stick in a suitcase. I don't use them every time, but they're nice to have handy. And then my fifth item are my Skechers flats and sneakers, which I noticed is on yours as well. And I have two types. So I have a Skechers flat that's a slip in like ballet look kind of shoe that I really like because it looks dressier. And then I also just have the standard, you know, sneaker style. So those are my go-tos. All right. My next five are some more clothes type of items, but I love my Columbia Omni Heat puffer. I call it a puffer coat, but it's, you know, one of those quilted down coats, but it's not super puffy um, because it has Omni Heat, which is like a reflective surface on the inside. So it's very thin and it can roll up small. So if I'm going to a colder destination, but maybe I'm not wearing my coat, maybe I'm traveling to a destination or I just want to have something warm for like, when, you know, for the nights, um, it can roll up pretty small and they're really warm. Not like warm enough to withstand, uh, you know, New England winters. I ended up having to get a, a warmer coat for that. But still for that cold, but not like, you know, super, super cold. Uh, they're great. And I also had recently bought some Ariat, I think is how you pronounce it, uh, boots. They're actually riding boots, but I wore them all over Ireland and London because they're waterproof. So they're Ariat Stanton H2O boots. And I have them in a, like a gray suede kind of material. And they look cute with skirts or with leggings or, or um, jeans, skinny jeans. But they keep your feet like warm and dry. And so they're really great for those destinations. I also have Skechers flats and sneakers, which I, the same thing. I have kind of a ballet flat, which feels like a sneaker, but you know, they're not like super dressy looking, but they're dressy enough to get away with. And then the Skechers sneakers. And one thing that you didn't mention that I like about them is just how lightweight they are. So for the ones that you aren't wearing to be able to pack, um, something that's really lightweight is helpful versus your regular running shoe. And then I love my Sanook flip-flops, which we've talked about before. Um, Those are really comfy. I think I'm going to invest in a new pair with some different colors next time. And I also love my Bose noise-canceling headphones. I actually, the ones that I have are earbuds. And so they are not as bulky as carrying around big headphones, but they still do the noise-canceling effect. And I also can put them in if it's noisy in a hotel room and I want to sleep and it kind of hurts my ear if I lay on my side, but then I'll like take one out and just kind of move it around a little bit. So anyway, my Bose noise canceling earbuds um, have been great. Great. Well, going from your coat one, it makes me think about my new favorite coats that I've been really traveling with a lot. And those are, it's mainly the one I'm thinking of as ex officio. And I have an ex officio jacket that is a, and I'm trying to remember, I forgot to look up the name. I think it's Arlo, I want to say. Um, and it is a rain jacket, but it just, I like the way it looks and feels, and it's a little more modern and kind of higher quality look. And I just, I love it. So you saw me wearing it. It's what I wore in Portugal and we Mm -hmm. got stuck in that rain storm and the water pretty much beat it off and it worked great. Kept me warm too. So I love ex officio. And the thing about them is they have like interior pockets, a lot of the hidden, kind of like your Scotty vest. They have a lot of those hidden pockets. So especially when you're traveling, if you want to put stuff inside um, and keep it close to your body, so it's a little safer. So that's great. My next thing is a sling shoulder bag with a bottle sleeve. And I have one from Mountain Equipment Co-op, which is a Canadian company, actually. And I absolutely love it. I used to have another one that didn't have a bottle sleeve. So that's my one thing that I always look for because staying hydrated when you travel is important. So sling shoulder bag. I love it. I love yours that you had in Portugal because it had a locking zipper. But um, I love that you can just slide it around and get 
access to what you need when you're traveling. And then I also mentioned face wipes. And this is like, you know, kind of like makeup removing wipes or refreshing wipes. And the reason I love those is because especially like if carry on, if you're traveling on a long flight, um, I love being able to go into the bathroom and just refresh my face and just feel like I get that kind of grime of travel days off of me. And I also love those for road trips if I'm going to drive or if we've been in the car for a long time, I like being able to just feel refreshed. And then my next thing is my iPad Pro with the Apple Pencil. I just upgraded. I used to have just the standard iPad Air and I recently went with an iPad Pro and got the Apple Pencil to go with it. And I absolutely just love that because I like the pencil for taking notes and being able to do a few things that are more um, like drawing or sketching and little things like that if you are like to do those things when you travel. And I also just really like the colors and the way it looks. So huge iPad fan. I read a lot on my iPad. And my 10th thing is actually, I did see your Scotty vest. So um, I actually travel with a cardigan that has pockets on the front. So it's not ideal. But I do agree that I love traveling with a cardigan and I normally do it when I'm flying. And I really like ones with, that have a hoodie but are really soft weight material because I like when I'm napping or if I'm going to take, you know, a little nap on the plane, I like being able to pull the hood up um, kind of to block out a little bit more sound and light. So cardigans with pockets are huge for sticking your phone in and stuff when your hands are full. Well, I'm going to jump into my next five, which are some more clothing things. Uh, I guess that's what I had on my mind first, but I like my Merrill hiking boots. They are, they're kind of low profile, but high enough to protect my ankle because they do have kind of weak ankles. They seem to twist a lot. So if I'm really going to be hiking over some uneven surfaces, I like to bring along my hiking boots. And I like these Merrells because they're waterproof. And that has helped us out when we're crossing like streams and things like that. So that's my favorite hiking boot brand. And then I had to bring up our Lucchese cowboy boots that everyone might remember when Mm -hmm. we went to El Paso. They gifted us those cowboy boots and they're just so cool. I just love them, you know. So if I am going to go like to another dude ranch, I would definitely bring those because they're they're kind of rocking the cowboy boots look. Um, And speaking of like dude ranches, I loved my Wrangler riding jeans that I got when we went to the dude ranch because they have a lot of give to them and they have uh, a tip which Colleen from the dude ranchers association had brought up which is that the seams are on the outside so they're not rubbing against your thighs as you're uh, riding the horses so if you are looking to do a trip with a lot of riding the wrangler riding jeans were great in general i love lucky brand jeans um because I, i don't know why they just seem to fit me really well and they're stretchy which is always really nice, especially they're stretchy in the waist too, because so many times I put on jeans and they feel great. And then I sit down, I'm like, "Ah!" (laughs) so I really like that. And for 15, you sold me on the LuLaRoe leggings, which I have a black pair, which I love to travel for overnight flights because they're so soft and it just makes me feel like I'm in my PJs and makes it a little bit easier to get comfortable on a plane. I agree. Those things are the best. Well, I'm going to hop in and I, yeah, I was not nearly as organized as you. So I apologize to everyone. But if you're, you know, just random brained, then (laughs) you'll like my list. Um, My next thing are digital boarding passes. And this is just a big thing for me is I've mentioned this before, but having the app for your airline, whoever you're flying with, it really can pay off because it's so nice to be able to just check into your flight, check your seats. Sometimes you can change your seats, have your boarding pass all on your phone and you're not stuck like printing paper and dealing with all that. So love digital boarding passes. Next up for me is my Amex Platinum card, which is a huge benefit for me, especially since I'm in Seattle because they have Centurion Lounge access. So when we get to the airport, we can go in and get some snacks and just relax and plug in. And it's just a huge benefit for me. And there's a few other perks that I really like with my um, Amex Platinum card, like Marriott and Starwood upgraded statuses with those brands. So a couple of good travel perks. Uh, in- next up is annual travel insurance. And you've even used this. I haven't had to use mine yet, but I still like to keep it because I just like not having to worry about 
if things go wrong and I can claim things. I know we've had missed flights before where we, because of weather and we had to actually pay out of pocket for hotels. And that's where that sort of thing would have come in handy. And I like just knowing that stuff can be taken care of if I am, um, since I do travel a lot. So annual travel insurance plans are big and I've worked with Allianz on promoting that and that's who I buy through. So that's, that's it for that. And then 14 for me is actually City Pass. And the reason I love City Pass, we got to use it in New York and I've used it elsewhere before um, in Southern California. And I just, I really like that you can buy one thing and then hit all the big attractions that you do have to know what you're going to spend on each attraction and really want to go to each item, each place. But as long as it matches what you want. You can get some big savings. We have Seattle ones that we're going to be using this summer. So I'm excited for that. And then number 15 for me is moleskin, which is like the kind of padded stuff. (laughs) I don't know how to explain it, but you use it for blisters. And I used to get... I've seen you do that. Yeah, exactly. It's so good. And I used to carry little scissors along and I would cut what I need, but now I cut, I I have pre-cut some pieces, but I just, it's amazing how much it can make a difference. Just if you're wearing a pair of shoes that just is rubbing a little wrong, or if you just start feeling like you've got a sensitive spot, you can stick that on there and it can make a huge difference because nobody wants sore feet, especially with kids. I love that stuff. All right. So my next five, I'm going to start with Stitch Fix, which is a subscription service, uh, more like a personal stylist. And by the way, I think this is a great gift if you ever want to give someone something and you don't know what to buy them. But I found it really helpful for my travels because honestly, I just tell my stylist where I'm going and what kind of things I might need. And she actually follows my Instagram and my Pinterest and she will send me things based on what's coming up in my travel schedule. And I don't know. I find it so much harder to shop as I get older, like finding things that are different and stylish, but work for my shape. And so I've been really happy. I mean, there's definitely hits and misses, but I think overall, you know, my overall feedback and my overall experience has been good. So I love Stitch Fix. And then I've been doing Birch Box, even though I'm not really into makeup. This is like a makeup subscription box, but it's not just makeup. It's also like lotions and hair products and things like that. But everything is travel sized, which I love. So it's $10 a month and you get, you know, five or six little travel size things, which if you go even to like Target, you know, some of these little travel size things are like two to five dollars each. And so I really think it's like a decent deal, but it lets you try some different products. And, you know, if you find one that you love, then you um you buy the full size. But to me, it just gives me this never ending supply of little travel products that I can try. So I love that. Um, and then I love my e-bags flat lay toiletry kit, um, which you ended up buying the same one cause you saw it or a similar one. I like it. It has different pockets. It has one that is waterproof and it can hang up and it lays flat. So it doesn't take up half my suitcase. So, so many things that I love about that. And then my favorite suitcase is my travel pro. It's a hard case carry on and it's the four wheel like spinner. And so it's so easy to navigate. And I really find that with the hard case, we've talked about this before, but it fits so much more for me than, um, than your regular standard carry on size. And I also love because with the two different sides and compartments, if I am moving around, I tend to put the dirty in one and the clean in the other. And so it kind of naturally does that for me. So I really love the Travel Pro hard case. And um, you also mentioned the sling bag. And the one that I had bought recently is from Travelon. And what I like about that is the locking feature. And so each zipper kind of locks with a hook. And so no one's getting in there without you knowing it. And so it makes me feel a lot more comfortable carrying something on my back because I really do hate having a purse on my shoulder and having it slide off all the time. And just, but I don't like to have a backpack where I feel like people can get into it easily. So the sling bag, it's, you know, on my back. So it's not hurting my shoulder quite as much, but I can easily pull it around. And, uh, but it's locked, so no one's getting into it. So that's my next five. Those are great. I do love Stitch Fix, um, I, which just reminded me because I get it quarterly, but I should let them know that I'm headed to Montana and stuff and see what they send for me. Well, I am going to jump right in. I have my Apple Watch listed, but also any kind of fitness tracker. I just love traveling with these because it's amazing how much um, kind of fun it is to see how active you are on your vacation and it kind of can, you know, motivate you to maybe bring a little bit of that fitness back home (laughs) afterwards. Um, I also love, I have a water bottle on here. And the thing that I love about this one is that I, it's, I like 
any of them that lock just because I don't like the screw cap. I like where the caps are all attached, but mm-hmm. I also don't want the pop, you know, the drink out at ones. I don't want it to pop open while I'm traveling and, you know, spill or anything. So I like locking ones. Next on my list is a car trash bag. And I listed that because we're doing our road trip planning. And I love the one we have because it has kind of a elasticized neck. So you kind of shove stuff into it, you know, so stuff doesn't just fall into it. And you're not struggling with a plastic bag either. And then on the bottom, it has a Velcro roll. So you unroll it and empty it. And that's how you empty it. And then you roll it back up and it's ready for another round of trash. So we love those when we take road trips. My next thing is like dot and dot no spill travel bottles. And there's a lot of different names now of them. You don't have to get the brand ones, but basically they're silicone bottles and they have kind of a fancy, I don't know, like pressurized valve for the release. So stuff doesn't drip or leak and I love it. They make a big difference. And my last thing is downy wrinkle releaser. And I travel with a little travel size bottle and I use it a lot because anytime I have shirts or dresses or something, I can just kind of spray it, tug it and smooth it out and hang it in the closet and it works great. Well, I'm on to more bags. You can tell that I've mm-hmm. tried a lot of different bags and I it's kind of like coats for me that I have different ones for different purposes. And so the next bag that I just got was a Timbuktu messenger bag because what I'm always looking for is something that will fit my computer, my purse kind of stuff and my camera all in one for when I'm on the plane. And then when I'm like at a conference or something like that, I still need something that is more day to day that can have my purse stuff and my camera in it. But this is good because it also fits my computer. So, and what I also love about it, well, first of all, I can kind of adjust the size. Like I fit kind of a ridiculous amount of stuff in there, um, on a couple of trips because it has adjustable straps, but then I like in the back that it has kind of this Velcro strap that releases, and then you can slide it over the handles of your roll on your roller board. Mm-hmm. Um, and so then I don't have that tugging at my shoulder. Uh, if I do have to carry it, at least it's like a crossbody messenger bag, but it makes it, it just makes it easier. Just like, you know, put it on the, those handles and just roll the, the whole thing on and it fits under my seat and it has lots of pockets, but it also has the outer water bottle pocket, which is always very important to me. So that's been a good find recently. And then my always, my old go-to is my Kiplinger crossbody bag, which those are the bags with the little monkeys hanging off of them. Um, so they have all, you see them in airports sometimes, but they're really cute. There's all types of styles, but I have a crossbody one that I like a lot. It just doesn't have an outer uh, water bottle pocket and, you know, a couple other things, but there are a lot of great things about it and it, it definitely locks up tight. So I have always felt safe carrying that around a whole lot of cities. And then next up is something I just used this past week, which is my Eagle Creek overnighter bag. And so it is, uh, it is a roll on, but it's very small and it's just enough, you know, for maybe an overnight, but actually I'm so proud of myself that when I went to Kansas, I did I was there for four whole days. I was actually there for plus the day that I flew. So five days, four nights. And I fit everything in this tiny little overnighter bag. And I had gone to put it into my regular carry-on and it'll only, it didn't even fill up half of one side of my carry-on. I'm like, well, this is ridiculous. Why would I bring something with all this extra space? So I was really happy because I could still roll it. I didn't have to like carry a duffel bag and then have two bags hanging off of me. So I liked that I could still roll it and everything was easy, but I didn't have to bring something with a lot of extra space, especially because I was going on smaller planes with smaller overheads. So I, I was more confident that I would find a spot for it. And then I also have a Columbia day bag, which is kind of like a mini backpack. And it has one of those, like, what do you call it? Like a rip cord, but like those little like stretchy bungee cord kind of things on it that you can put something in it. It has a side water bottle pocket and it's just big enough for the stuff that you would need for a hike. And it's kind of padded on the back and on the strap also, um, which I like. So it's, uh, it's something that Hannah will take like when we go on hikes and just kind of keep some necessities in there, you know, whether it's, um, snacks and tissues and 
Neosporin and Band-Aids and bug spray or bear spray or, you know, just like that kind of basic stuff. So that's always been one that we use a lot. And then I started to think about things that I use when we go skiing or we're in um, cold weather destinations. And you can tell I like Columbia, but we have the Columbia Omni Heat Base Layer. So just those thin, like long sleeve t-shirts, but again, they have the Omni heat reflective heat stuff. And, you know, I've been really comfortable skiing with just that and a jacket, you know, sometimes if it's really cold, I'll add another layer. So that is up to uh, 25 for me now. Okay, well, I'm going to jump in and list my next thing is called Motion Ease. And I think I've mentioned this before, but it's kind of like an herbal um, oil blend that you can buy at a drugstore or whatever for motion sickness and you dab it behind your ears. And I just like that because sometimes I just need a little bit of something. I don't want to take, you know, Dramamine or whatever. So Motion Ease is really great. And I also love Emergency, which is kind of... I guess it's a competitor to like the airborne um, stuff, but I know it's some people say it's not proven to make a difference, but I like to do it. So especially if I'm going to travel, I try and take a couple of those packets with me and, you know, on the plane or something, sometimes I'll have one and I just think it helps me. I like the effervescent too. It makes it feel good. My next up is my iPhone 10. And I mentioned my Sony camera up above, and I do like that it's more portable than a big DSLR. However, I do think the iPhone is great because I love the portrait mode on it. And then it also is just compact and easy to grab. And I use it a lot also to shoot video, which is nice and does a great job on that. And then my next thing is a Wi-Fi device. And these are things that you can get their quartz... I've used it in Israel and another one when we were on our California trip and they are like little personal hotspots. So normally it's about $10 a day and you get a certain, they say unlimited um, data, but of course, once you hit a certain level, they throttle you, but still it's a great, great option for if you're traveling, you're going to be on using data a lot and you don't want to just use all of your cell phone plan. They can be really great. So I love those portable Wi-Fi hotspot devices. And then 25 for me are packing cubes. And I actually have the eBags branding, but I'm, you know, I'm not particular about any of them. The one thing I like about the ones we have that I have are their fabric with a little bit of mesh. So, you know, you can kind of push them and stack them and they compress a little because the air is not trapped. And so, yeah. Well, I'm going to start off with one that you just said, which is the iPhone 10. And again, I love it for photography. Uh, I just love that portrait mode too. Yeah. <laughs> and um, also some things that I use to pack. I like the Pricola silicon tubs for lotions. And so since I have sensitive skin and I have to bring a lot of specialty lotions, um, these are just like little tubs and they're, they're cute little colors and they screw on caps and they don't leak and they're nice and small, but it will fit enough uh, like moisturizer or something for at least a week. So I have a few of those. Um, I also am very happy that I finally got a plastic TSA liquids bag because I used to always just use a quart Ziploc bag. And the something about the size and structure of this is even though it's a quart, uh, I can fit more into it. So it's more rectangular and has some hard seams and structure to it. So that has been very helpful for me, especially trying to do more carry on only. And I also love Dermalogica is a, a brand of uh, skincare that I use and they have this hydro mist and they have a little travel size. It's something that I use. Actually, I spray on my face when I get out of the shower before I put on my moisturizer. But I like this like for the plane um, when you're getting very dried out and you're feeling you know, that the effects of travel, this little hydro mist is, is just nice for kind of rejuvenating your skin, giving it a bit of that dewiness back. And then something else I discovered in the, in the last year is the, I don't know how to pronounce it, but the Cabello cool travel pillow. I've tried a lot of travel pillows also, and I really like this one. It's comfortable. Uh, it is kind of cool, um, you know, it doesn't make you hot, but what I really love about it too, is that it actually rolls up and comes in this little circular, uh, carrying case that clips onto your bag. And I find so many of them, I used to have one that you would turn inside out or it would have a cover they have to put it on. But I, I just hate the fact of like the germs that would be on 
something if it, you know, just going into the bathroom and dropping it on the floor or, you know, having it on the floor of the plane or something. So I like that this is not bulky, but it does still have a a case to kind of keep it clean when I'm not using it. Nice. So my favorite luggage right now is by, it's called iFly and it's actually a very affordable luggage and they sent it to me to try. And the thing that I fell in love with about it is that it's a rose gold color. And so it's strictly for the color and my girls actually fight over it. And so um, I didn't even get to use it on the most recent trip when we were on the cruise. I let Lizzie use it because she wanted it. And now Mm -hmm. Mia wants to use it for Denver. So I'll hopefully get it because the carry on size is really like the best way. I always do carry on mostly because I'm impatient. And when I get home, I'm ready to leave the airport and get home. So I don't want to have to be waiting for my luggage. So I'm, I try to be carry on only and I love this one. And again, it's a hard sided just like you had mentioned. And I like hard sided because I feel like I can pack a lot in them. And then I can like fold it and even sit on it if I need to and like zip it up and it it, everything fits, it seems like. Um, I do think that hard sided, though, are a little more difficult to deal with in hotel rooms and stuff because you need more space to open up both sides since you're stuck, you know, having two sides packed. So um, I also always travel with a backpack. Right now, I actually have one that I got from a conference, um, but I've used for a long time, I used a Targus one that was a laptop backpack. And that is what I use for my like personal item carry on. And I like it because it's where I put all of my technology and how I keep like a purse. Um, I keep like a purse wallet in it when I'm traveling instead of carrying a whole purse. And so I just like backpacks because it leaves my hands free. And so I can then just carry a coffee and my roller and I have my backpack on my back. And so that's my thing for that one. And then I also always like clip-on sanitizers. If I don't have a clip-on, then it's fine. I can just use a normal bottle. But sanitizer is huge when I'm traveling. And if I clip it on, I feel like I see it more often and then I use it more often. Of course, I try to wash my hands whenever possible. But when you're traveling, it's just nice to have that handy. And then next thing for me is actually a new device that I've used on two cruises now, and it's called the MyCharge Power Base. And I really love it because what it is, is it plugs into a single outlet and it gives you three USB ports and a USB-C port. So like I, my MacBook charges with USB-C. And then, you know, if you have a phone and an iPad or someone else's phone, you can plug four devices in to charge out of one outlet and that's just huge with traveling for a family. So I really like that one. And my 30th item is the mobile passport control app. And I just mentioned this one because it's paid off a few times before I had global entry, where I don't have to fill out the paperwork, I can just do on the plane, I can do my check in, and even include my kids with me. And so it normally gets you past one, that initial lineup where you have to stand at the machine and input the stuff. Um, By having the app, you just take a picture with your phone and you have the form filled out and you can go straight to the line instead of having to stop and do the picture and form fill out. So love that. Cool. Well, I have a couple more products and then I'm going to jump into some experiences. And I know we talked about some of our favorite travel experiences at the end of last year. So I'm trying to keep it to ones that I don't think I mentioned in the previously but also things that we've done within the last year. So before I get into that, those a couple more favorite products. I like my Eagle Creek packing cubes. I'm kind of like you in that, you know, packing cubes probably could be whatever brand. The Eagle Creek ones that I have, you know, are very lightweight, so they don't take up any extra space. You know, the material is super thin, but they do some good compression. And I find it easy for like packing and unpacking in some, some places and just, you know, fitting more into less space. Uh, I also love the Echo Vessel insulated water bottle that our friend Allison from Tips from Family Trips had told us about because it keeps my water cold for hours, even in crazy hot heat. And that's really important to me. So that's the Echo Vessel insulated water bottle. And then to get into some of our experiences, I loved the tour that we did of London with Eve Milner. She was just, you know, fabulous and bringing history to life. And she really focused on on Hannah and storytelling and just made it all so interesting. And also in London, I loved our British Museum tour. Well, at least what I saw of it before I started vomiting in the bathroom. 
but he was he was amazing and he had other kids like coming over to try to cut in on our tour because he seemed a lot more interesting than what they were doing. So I highly recommend him as well. And then um, my 35th thing, I loved our day trip to Sintra. I thought I had so much fun exploring that town. There's so many favorite, there's just some, there's so many pretty places to see there. And just, I would love to have taken more time to explore, but, and I was also happy to be there with you. Aww. Cheers to that. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Next on my list is actually TSA PreCheck. I just cannot even get over how much of a lifesaver it is. And now that I just recently noticed that Lizzie is, she went over that 13-year-old mark. And so I guess I need to be getting her her own global entry and PreCheck now. Although most of the time she's always booked with me. But if not, you know, I don't want to have to stand in the lines. (laughs) Yeah, I'm so bad. I'm so spoiled. So anyways, love TSA PreCheck. Next up, I kind of got into like app stuff. I was just trying to come up with different things. So my next up is the My Disney Experience app. And I just like that they have that for, you know, helping to check travel times. And then when you're in Disney World, you can check all your reservations, you can check into your hotel in advance, you can keep all your tickets online. So mostly it's for Disney World. Um, But there is a Disneyland pass as well a Disneyland app as well um, that lets you put your tickets on it and that that feeds into my next one which is Max Pass and that's the new Disneyland Fast Pass service that lets you um, book your Fast Passes from your phone and it also includes gets you all your special photos from the rides or any of the photo pass photographers so I really like the Max Pass as well and then this is kind of a funny one that I listed. And so I'm just going to name it. But I love my travel size poopery. And I don't know if anyone's used that in their house. But coming off of a cruise with, you know, love my husband to death. But anyways, kids, ha- husband, everybody poops, right? And coming off of a cruise where you're in a little space, I really like that travel poopery because you just squirt it and it helps. So your whole, you know, room doesn't stink. So that's my next my next item. And then my last item for number 35 for me is I don't know how to say it Lancome Bonfait Bonfait being being thought. I don't know. Uh, but it's their UV SPF super fluid facial sunscreen. It's an SPF of 50. And I just love the super fluid. It's really uh, liquidy. So it just goes on really smoothly and I don't feel like it's greasy. And so for a sunscreen, I hate the way facial sunscreens and like face facial sticks feel. And so I really like that this gives me really good SPF protection with a very soft feel. So I'm learning things that I want to add to my list now. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to continue on with some of my experiences and I'm going to have another one with you, which was the girls trip to El Paso that we did where we just had so much fun being active and wine tasting and doing all kinds of adventures together. So I loved that surprising kind of experience that we had in El Paso. Mm-hmm. Also, um, when I was in Ireland, kind of did a girl's trip, day trip to the Dingle Peninsula. Mm -hmm. And I'd heard a lot about the Ring of Kerry, but not as much about the Dingle Peninsula. And I just loved it there. It's so, so beautiful from like beautiful beaches, beautiful rocky coastlines and farms and just sheep. And I don't know, it was just gorgeous. Plus being able to at least seen in in the distance where they had filmed um, some of the Star Wars uh, scenes. But yeah, so that was great. And I was also trying to think of some of my favorite hotels. And I'm going to go with the Athenaeum Hotel in London, just because it had so much character. It's a small um, boutique hotel. They have uh, residences there for families. But it was the kind of place where there's a doorman with a tall top hat that he tips to you every time you leave and enter and he greets you like, you know, Miss, Mrs. Gruber. Yeah. Like have a good day, Mrs. Gruber. And like, I don't know how they remember everyone's name, but the just the personal touch of that was so nice and it was just a really nice service. So I loved the Athenaeum hotel in London. Uh, I was thinking about my favorite museum and I, Hannah and I really fell in love with the museum of the American Indian in Washington, DC not only were the exhibits amazing, the building was amazing, and I still can't get over their food court, which I just loved how they had um, some traditional foods from different uh, d- 
different uh, regions. So you had your Pacific Northwest Native American foods and your Plains Indians and your Southwest and like all these different flavors. And so I've never seen a food court like that. And so it sounds funny that I'm so impressed by a food court, but I am. And if that sounds funny, then it'll also be funny that I've listed a beer uh, as my 40th item. But I had this beer at the at the um, Celtic whiskey bar, or maybe it's Celtic, but it's a uh, whiskey bar in Killarney, Ireland. And it was so good. It, they, they make all their own beer there and it had this like smoky flavor. And I, I swear I want to go back to that bar um, in Killarney just to have some more of that. That sounds really nice. It's funny how there's just certain experiences that you just fall in love with, right? You should have found out what the beer is. Maybe they're going to, maybe you could order it at some point in some bar, in some pub. <laughs> I was very jet lagged. And so, (laughs) (laughs) well, I got into some experiences, you know, going now and I, you know, I was really impressed with our recent trip, the Martin Hall resorts, both the Kashkish and the Chiado spots that we stayed with Martin Hall. So in Lisbon and then in Cascais. And the reason I love them is just they have done what a novel idea and what a great thought to really bring family friendly to hotels and not just to accept kids, but to actually build a hotel and plan um, features around kids. I just loved that. Like in Keshkesh, I thought the, you know, spa being welcoming for all kids. And, you know, I just thought that was great because I know my girls always want to join me and sometimes there's age limits. And I just, I think that was great. And then in Chiado, I thought that the location of that hotel was so amazing in those apartment style residences, you know, rooms were just so much space. So really was impressed with the Martin Hall Resorts in Lisbon. Uh, My next thing is actually the Norwegian Bliss Mandara Spa. And so I just came off the brand new Norwegian Bliss and the spa there. I just fell in love with it because of the the space they've and experience they've created there is amazing. It's total relaxation. They've got thermal pools, hot tub. They have a steam room. They have saunas. They have an ice snow room and they also have a salt room. And so it's kind of a crazy idea to have this full on day spa experience on a cruise ship. So hats off for that one. Next up, another experience was kind of a silly one, but I was thinking of cruises and I really liked the celebrity cruise line beverage package. They upgraded that for us when we were on that cruise, but it made such a difference for Mia. She just loved getting to have like anytime she wanted to go get a drink. And I think when you travel, being able to stay hydrated is so good. Of course, I liked the alcoholic one. So that's the antithesis of that. But um, it's it's great, I think, to be able to just go grab a water or grab some fresh juice or grab a, you know, strawberry daiquiri or pina colada, you know, virgin style for the kids, of course. And then they had a coffee shop there too. And I just found that a lot of joy and just enjoying drinks while hanging out around that cruise ship. And then I also listed the Redwood Forest. I've been there twice now. And both times I I just fell in love with it. And the way that you can just walk a couple feet off the road into the forest and it's like another world of quiet is still mind boggling to me. And I don't know how to express that to people unless you've been there and experienced it, but it really is a magical place. And 40th for me is actually Nat Geo Kids. I'm a Nat Geo Kids insider. And I just, I know a lot about their books and their magazines and they brought so much joy and learning to our kids, like the almanac we get every year. And both of my girls love nonfiction and learning about animals and learning about the world. And so the Nat Geo Kids product just are a huge hit for me and our family. I agree. Hannah used to actually request subscriptions to the Nat Geo Kids magazine yeah. for her birthday. Yeah. Well, I'm going to continue on with my food and drink and experiences kind of thing. And I had such a great time when we were in Kashkaish um, having sangria with yes. you guys, with you and with Amy from Fit Stops for Kids and um, Katya from Globe Totting. So that was just such a nice, remember it was like a nice view. It was a beautiful day outside. It yes. was a rooftop kind of bar. So I'm definitely into like the rooftop bar with view. Like I, I like that. It, it really makes me happy to kind of see a sunset or just to look out over a city or a nice, a nice view and just enjoy a drink. And um, whether it's with kids or whether it's with friends or adults, um, the other experience that I really loved in Killarney 
before I had the beer was I had this amazing spa experience. So you talked about your spa. I had one in Killarney at the Killarney Plaza Hotel, and it was the earth, fire, and water therapy. And it was uh, it was just like having my own little private steam room with like a shower that came on. It was just so, so relaxing and such a great way for me to get over jet lag. So I love that. And I also loved, we did a lot of food tours last year and I really loved our food tour in Nashville with Walk Eat Nashville um, because we got to an area of the city that we would not have explored on our own and we learned a lot of history when we did it. And it was just a really, really well done food tour. So I love that one. And then Something that I can't help but smile when I think about was when Hannah got to be the honorary duck master at the Peabody Hotel in Memphis, which is something that you can buy a package and get to do. It was something that we did as part of our, you know, a, a press package, but it is something that you can you can purchase to do. But it was so fun to be able to lead the ducks across the red carpet and up the elevator. And it's just it's if you've ever been there, you know what that ceremony is like. And if you haven't, it's a reason to go to the Peabody Hotel in Memphis. And then one other thing in Memphis, I loved the soul food that we had at Alcenia's. And it's the kind of place where it's a little hole in the wall. Um, but she has been written up in a lot of magazines and TV shows and things. So, you know, a lot of tourists do come in, but it still is has a very, very local feel. And she basically kisses everyone that comes in. She comes and gives you a hug. And the food was incredible. So I loved our soul food at Alce- Alcenia's in Memphis. Nice. Talking about food, I am dreaming and still drooling over the apple pie in Lisbon. It still stands out to me as just such a great experience. And, you know, I recently posted about it and actually somebody on Twitter, they were saying, we're going to get the apple pie. They had read my post and, you know, commented on Twitter. So that's cool. And it's so nice. I want I want more right now. Um, hmm. And that made me think about our lovely lunch that we had at the Tivoli Palazzo de Satis in Sintra. I don't know how to say it. It sounds French and I'm sure it's not French, it should be Portuguese, but however you would say it, the Tivoli Hotel that's in Sintra at the Palace of Cetes. That lunch, I just loved it. Do you remember we were, you know, we just sat out on this little outdoor deck overlooking their pretty, you know, orange orchard, I think it was. Was it orange or lemons? It was oranges. It was beautiful. Yeah, oranges. It yeah. was so beautiful. And the pool was so there. relaxing. Yeah. And then you remember we walked around, you got to see that maze. And it just, I loved that. It was a beautiful location. And the lunch there, they do an amazing job. So that was that. And then I built onto that with my number 43 are girls' trips because I just, I've fallen in love with like girlfriend getaways and not just girls' trips with you know, solo mom and daughter trips, that's part of that too, but also just girlfriend getaways, like you and I doing El Paso, and I've done a Disneyland trip. And I just, I think then after we had Lisbon, they just stand out to me because I think that it's nice for women and moms to sometimes reconnect with each other as not like talking about your kids all the time and just having experiences together that can deepen your friendships. So a big plus for me on that one. And 44 for me is actually, I have 44 and 45 kind of feet off of each other. And number one is Google Calendar. And the reason I love Google Calendar is you and I, I love that you can share your plans with people if you're making plans on stuff. So, you know, Paul, it's a huge thing for him now. He wants to be able to see whenever I have trips planned and where we're going. And instead of him asking me and then me getting mad when he asked me for the fifth time because he can't remember (laughs) because I'm doing too much. Instead, he just has the calendar now. So I like Google Calendar and being able to share with share certain calendars with people. And piggybacking on that, I also love Google Photos. So even though I have an iPhone, I actually don't use iPhotos. Instead, I use Google Photos because I just find it easier to use them and access them on my desktop later on. And I just I also love their search feature and hats off to both those Google products. (laughs) Cool. Well, we're down to our last five each so that yeah, we're actually keeping a good ten. pace here. Yeah. yeah. Woo-hoo. <laughs> Make it in an hour. We'll see. So I was thinking about some more experiences and our favorite water park last year by far is Volcano Bay at Universal Orlando is really so well done and so impressive. Uh, it was actually really relaxing and beautiful. And, you know, even though it is crowded and, you know, really, really popular, uh, we loved our experience there. And then if you hop over to Disney, I still am so blown away by the Flight of Passage ride in Pandora because of that kind of 3D, 4D experience. And even though I got 
a little bit of motion sickness. I had to close my eyes a couple times. It was something that I can handle, which I feel like I have trouble with a lot of rides. So I was happy that I was able to enjoy that one. And then I thought I needed to throw in something there about like romantic getaways. And Glenn and I both fell in love with the Eden Rock at Cop Cana in like near Punta Cana in, D- in the Dominican Republic, where we had our little parent getaway last year. And it was so quiet and beautiful and relaxing and spacious and luxurious. It was exactly what we needed at the time. And, and we really loved it. And because Hannah and I are both such bookworms, I had to put in our favorite bookstore that we discovered last year on our travels. And that is actually there were two of them. But I'm going to go with the one in Manchester, Vermont, because uh, they have such a huge um, section for kids and teens or young adults. But it was the Northshire bookstore in Manchester, Vermont, which happens to be one of my favorite towns in New England, too, because it's just so picturesque and quaint. And there's lots of little shops. So I loved that. And then just down the street after that, we had an experience at Bromley Mountain in Vermont where we went on the Alpine slide and we did kind of a a day of activity. And you know that I just love when Hannah and I are together, being able to do some active stuff together side by side. And just it's just so fun to kind of just be together in that moment. And we started off with the Alpine slide, which is something that I loved doing as a kid. And I was able to share that with her. And she was a little bit nervous being in her own sled going down at first. And then she really took to it. And we did it a bunch of times. And then she did some kind of big swing that I was way too scared to do. But I watched her do it like five times in a row. And then she did a zip line. So it was just fun getting to be outside with beautiful views and enjoying some activities together. So that's it. That's my 50. I'm sure I could come up with like 50 more if I thought about it, but we limited to a hundred because it's only our hundredth episode. So great. Well, I'm going to finish out with my five. So on my list, I put packing lists on my list because it's amazing how much that has made a difference in getting me out the door and just feeling more confident when I'm packing things up and starting them beforehand if I'm doing a special kind of trip where I need to start noting like, oh, don't forget waterproof shoes or don't forget, you know, this or that. I just I love packing lists and I think they're a big help. Um, I also put on mine the Disneyland and sea vacations. They're kind of something that they're doing. Um, and I thought it was really nice because we've done Disney World where we've done like all the theme parks and it gets a little taxing for our family. And so I love the land and sea vacations where you spend a few days at theme parks, but then you go and you have, you know, a three or a four day cruise. And I find cruising relaxing. Not everyone does, but for us, it's nice because you don't have to think about what you're going to do next. You don't have to make any plans. You kind of just eat what you want and go where you want and do what you want. And so I like those kind of vacations. And then I also put pedicures on my list because it's one of my guilty pleasures. And before any trip, I like to think about, you know, like, go in and think of the color that I want to, you know, kind of represent what I'm doing. Like I just went on a cruise. So I have kind of a tealish blue on my toes for that one. And I just, I really splurge and I like to get pedicures um, before each big trip. Also on my list are magic bands, which are a Disney world thing. And I know this because I'm getting ready to go over to Disney world for traveling mom for Toy Story Land. So that was one of the things that was on my thought process. And so you only get them if you're staying on site. However, you can purchase them. If you're not staying on site, you can buy them also. And I just think they're so nice to use if you're using for, you know, admission into the parks and getting fast passes and all of that. It's nice that you don't have to pull the card out and the ticket out every time. And then my 50, I actually like was kind of got out of order, but I actually listed for a hotel, the Hyatt Regency Scottsdale Resort, which I've stayed at twice now. And I like that resort because it's a Hyatt Regency, which is a kid-friendly brand. And I loved their pool area. It was extremely like spread out and it had all these just new little areas that you would kind of walk and discover. And then I also, their spa is amazing and has um, a gorgeous like saltwater pool and nice relaxing space. So I think that's a great hotel and I love Phoenix and all the, you know, Phoenix surrounding areas. So that is my 50. I'm glad you finished with that because I'm actually staying there next week and I'm going to do some uh, treatments at their spa too. Oh, nice. That's awesome. (laughs) I didn't know that. Yeah, they're, they're great. It's like, but meanwhile, before I go, I need a pedicure. (laughs) See, I know all those little things. Well, yay, we did it a hundred. We did it. hundred episode, hundred things. There we go. 
And we got it in within like an hour. And I hope that you guys really enjoyed it. I hope you'll find some new discoveries. I mean, obviously, Kim and I travel a lot. And so we've experimented with a lot of different things and find the the products, the gear, the experiences that really stood out. So I hope this was helpful. Yeah, don't hesitate to, you know, leave a comment at vacationmavens.com on this episode if you need more information or if you're wondering exactly what we were talking about or send us a tweet or whatever telling us your favorite travel things too. Yep. And we would love to hear from you on your thoughts going into the fall. If you would like to hear more episodes about our travels or more episodes about topics or destinations. And if you would like those things split up into separate episodes, or if you like the format that we have now, uh, so leave us a comment or drop us an email and let us know your thoughts. We will be taking next week off, but then join us again on June 26th, because we are going to be talking about Peru and Machu Picchu. We hope that you all have a great summer and hopefully there's some fun travel in there. Definitely. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.